What's up guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am going to take you through a full day of eating, see what it's like to um, go. Today's gonna be a low carb day, so I'll take you through that um, low carb because I've got two vacations coming up um, and I gotta stay in shape and bikini ready. So come check it out, see what it takes to uh, get through a day of eating. Um, one thing you'll see is that I'm not afraid to eat. Ladies, don't be afraid to eat. Just eat good quality food, clean food. You'll never be hungry and you look nice and toned. So here's what's going on. Today I'm actually feeling a little bit under the weather. I think I've got some allergies going on. I think that's all it is. But to be on the safe side, I'm gonna load up on some extra vitamins. So this morning before I do cardio, um, because I am not feeling 100%, I'm gonna take some turmeric. Um, turmeric is a natural spice. Look it up. It's got all sorts of crazy health benefits. Everything from helping your immune system to keeping your skin clear. Um, zinc, same thing. Um, it's been shown to help you get through a common cold faster. Good for your immune system. Fish oil, always a good idea. Um, ladies, keep this in your diet. Um, osteoporosis runs in my family. This is good to help prevent that. Start now, don't wait until you have problems. And last but not least, this is actually new. I'm going to um, grab some CLAs to take with me today. CLA is a conjugated, I'm not gonna say it, it's too long of a name, but it's a fat. And basically the way it works is that when you are in a calorie deficit, this fat's gonna help you lose fat. Um, I can't really explain it any better than that, but these little guys will work only if you're in a calorie deficit. So today's gonna be a low carb day. I'm about to shoot off to do some cardio. Um, so we're gonna throw these guys in the mix. Went to Mizu Sushi yesterday. If you guys uh, follow me on Snap or Instagram or Tori, you see that he especially goes there all the time. They usually give us nice big portions um, a lot of times it's too much for me to finish, so thanks guys, you guys meal prep for me. Thanks Mizu. So right before I leave to go to the gym, I'm gonna bring one more meal with me, which is gonna be three eggs. Um, these are super easy. Usually I do one egg white and a cup, or I'm sorry, I do one egg and a cup of egg whites, but all of our egg whites are expired, so I'm not trying to get salmonella gonna grab some extra fats today that's actually probably a good thing when you go lower carbs throw in some extra fats to help your energy level and to help keep you full um, so this is super quick just put eggs in a little bowl we don't have a fancy whisker I just use a fork actually throw a little bit of water in here Make them a little fluffier and throw them in a nice hot pan. Ooh, that's really hot. This will take about four or five minutes to cook. I'm gonna throw it in a Tupperware and then I'll bring it with me. She just told me it was only gonna take two or three minutes because we we are in a rush. I already got myself dirty. And I just started the day. I got eggs on my pants. If anyone's hungry, just lick my leg. You'll get a little extra protein. I'm messy. My mom calls me the Tasmanian devil in the kitchen. I just cooked those on super high, super fast. I'm sure any chef would tell you that's a terrible way to cook, but I don't care. It's fast and I gotta go. One of the number one questions that I get is for females is how do I wanna get toned? How do you get toned? How do you get a flat stomach? Um, a lot of it's working out but an even bigger piece of it is, is what you put in your mouth. So what I always tell my clients is, it's pretty simple. Most people can get to the gym an hour, maybe even a little more than an hour a day, um, but that's only one hour out of 24. So what are you doing with those other 23 hours of your day? Um, that's the nutrition piece of it, and it's super important. And the other thing that I see way too much of is, especially in women, is that we're afraid to eat. We're skipping meals. We're never putting a carbohydrate in our mouth. Um, today's gonna be a low carb day for me, but um, you gotta get your clean carbs in um, and you gotta get enough food in. Otherwise, you're gonna be hungry and you're gonna binge eat. 
um, and you'll never get that toned look. If you want that toned look, you gotta get, get that protein, get those clean carbs, um, feed those muscles so you have muscles to come through. Um, so that's, um, that's kind of my philosophy. Hopefully that helps. Um, don't be afraid to eat. Um, eat consistently. I always tell I always tell people if you're hungry and you kind of are thinking about a snack, just eat a small meal. So what I try and do is eat five to even six small meals a day, all protein, lean protein centric, um, super healthy. It's a lot of food. It does take a lot of preparation as you can see. Um, I just threw some eggs in. Um, but I'll show you some tips and tricks and kind of how to eat out and you'll see what's going on. But check it out, five, five meals minimum. I'll probably get six today because it's low carb. Um, I'll be a little extra hungry. All right, so right before I do some cardio, I'm gonna grab some subs and my secret sub stash back here. Check this out. That's our stash. All this stuff here, that's inventory for the gym. That's not ours. This, that's our secret stash. I feel like people are also more healthy out here. Like I don't have any spoons, but we do keep a black bag, black, a bag of plastic forks. This is what I'll be eating my oatmeal with today. Nice big scoop. Chocolate protein oatmeal. This is meal number one, guys. About 25 grams of carbs, 25, 24 grams of protein, by about 300 calories, but who's counting? All right, and before we get going, one scoop of EVP. Since I just had some of that lipo side, I've got plenty of caffeine this morning, so we're just going with the regular EVP to get some pump. No need for the bless right now. Bartender. All right, bite of chocolate oatmeal and EDP. Taking shots. Thank you. 
intense workout that I had planned. My booty is going to be sore tomorrow. Um, so meal number two are going to be these eggs that I cooked. This is three whole eggs. Um, it's just straight protein. Eggs to me are not very filling, so this is kind of like my snack meal. Um, probably in like an hour or two, I'm going to be really hungry again, and Toy are going to and I are going to jet over to Mizu um, and chat a little business over a little uh, salmon and sushi and rice and whatever we get. Um, but yeah, also, I found some of my new Evo Chen Evo Vite. This is a multivitamin. So again, since I'm not feeling so well, I'm definitely going to be sure to take one of these. It also is supposed to kind of help you with your workouts too. So this is a new product from Evogen. I haven't tried it too much, but I'll definitely let you guys know um, how I like it. But it's pretty. It's yellow. That's not bad. All right. I just tried to put this cap back on this water. That's not gonna work out so well. Um, this is probably my second I guess this is a quart. This is my second one of these today. Um, I'm trying to get better about drinking water. I actually have a really bad habit of not drinking enough water during the day, um, which can cause a variety of problems. Um, so this is straight water. A lot of times I cheat and I will add like amino jacks or carnage into my water, which I know isn't exactly like the same thing as drinking water, but baby steps. If adding some flavor and some BCAs gets me to drink more water then we'll go for it but I'm being good right now and sipping on my smart water I wonder if it makes you smarter why not so guys a little bit more about the Evo Vite um, it has pretty much everything you could want in it vitamin A vitamin C vitamin D vitamin K got some niacin some B6 for some energy B12 biotin good for your hair ladies and the nails um, calcium all sorts of good stuff and it also has zinc in it which again this morning I took some zinc um, because I'm not feeling a hundred percent that's gonna help my immune system and then it has a whole nother blend um, of stuff in it that I will not try to pronounce that helps you with your performance while you're working out so um, this has been a cool thing for me to add it's a really great multivitamin it's got a little bit of everything you guys saw me cooking my eggs this morning. I just um, heated them up in the microwave. I'm eating them in my office back here at Wesca because we have a rule at the gym that you can't eat any proteins um, on the gym floor so it doesn't get smelly. So I'm following my own rules and eating in here by myself like a loser. Um, but anyways, um, quick count on macros for eggs. Um, I did whole eggs today, which usually I will do egg whites, especially when I'm cutting, um, but my egg whites were expired. So I have three whole eggs in here, which is just shy of 20 grams of protein. It's actually a little lighter. I probably should have put four eggs in there, um, but I hadn't had my coffee in the morning yet, so I really wasn't thinking straight. Um, and it probably has about 15 grams of fat or so, which again is okay. I'm trying to do lower carbs today. I just hit it pretty hard with Sarah. Um, so a little extra fat is really not a bad thing. Um, healthy fats are fine in your diet. Don't be scared to eat healthy fats. They're good for you. Eat lots of almonds, eggs, salmon, steak. I actually don't eat steak or red meat, so I'm big on salmon, salmon, eggs, and nuts. Um, nuts and almonds are a little bit dangerous. Um, but yeah, so that is what I'm eating right now. Um, pretty good. Danger! Paulina gave these to me as a thank you for letting me, uh, for letting her borrow my car. These are just staring at me in the face. They're so good, I want to eat them. I'm gonna say no. And drawer number two, more chocolate. And a secret stash of rice cakes. These are actually not a terrible snack. These are pretty good if you're dying for something crunchy. Why is there chocolate in our desk? This is so unfair. This is willpower. So the biggest um, thing with trying to eat clean and stay on track is just willpower. Can you say no to the chocolate bars sitting in your desk? Are you bigger than the chocolate? I don't know. We'll see. They're our family, they hook us up, they always cook clean for 
has so we know that we're not going to put any extra salt, any extra oil, any extra butter. They're super clean, they're super cool, and it's bomb. And they're open. And they're open. So we're here at Mizu. We pre-ordered everything. Um, you heard me on the phone. This is green tea. I always drink green tea here. It is, it is a natural fat burner. It has a little caffeine in it. Don't be fooled by all of the people telling you if you just drink green tea, you're gonna lose all this weight. It's not that simple. If it was that simple, no one would be overweight. But by the same token, green tea does have a lot of health benefits, so why not? Here it is. So pretty. You're on camera, smile. <laughs> yeah. This oh. always makes it taste a lot better too. You see that? Alfonso <laughs> always hooks it up. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Okay. okay, so I've got my sashimi salad. It's really beautiful. Um, typically, I'll order what Tori's eating, which is the salmon and the rice, but I'm going low carbs today. Um, I also, ooh, look at that. That looks delicious. I also um, have some leftover salmon for meal four that I'm going to eat later. Um, so I didn't need all of that. So this is just different pieces of sashimi. It's probably about six ounces and probably about a quarter avocado just on a bed of greens. And then instead of the dressing, I use fresh wasabi. And I mix it with a little bit of soy sauce, which has a little bit of sodium, but super low on calories. Um, so it's super healthy, super fresh. And that's meal number three. And Tori is feasting out like a king with three salmon fillets. Oh, we got the guns. I got free tickets to the gun show. <laughs> free tickets, no, you baby. Paper, you got free brunch, yeah. I need to fill some ass or something. Okay. wasabi that was in here is pretty spicy and it's kind of making my <laughs> my nose run um but if you guys are ever at a japanese restaurant always ask for fresh wasabi i think it tastes better and spicy foods also um kind of help suppress your appetite a little bit um so a little tip for me to you what do you think about that that makes me happy <laughs> Happy and full? I am full. I'm happy. I'm ready to go smash out some chest. Put these carbs to work. Oh, free meal. That's what's up. We get free meals all the time because we eat here so much. What do you think about that? What do you think about free meals? Are you voguing? Free meal. Pretty fucking good about a free meal. Considering that we come here five days a week minimum to get a couple of free meals a week comes in very handy. So it's one in the bank, baby. Free meals and carbs apparently make you vogue. Is that voguing? This is voguing. I remember that the is Madonna. Not this is voguing. Madonna's video used to come yeah. on back in the day when I was younger. And she was saying, fuck. You just aged yourself. We're gonna give Tori one bite for the road. Ready? Here it goes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna take one for myself too. <laughs> All right, so we're heading back to Weska after just eating at Mizu, which is our favorite sushi spot. Um, something really easy to do if you're trying to eat out with friends and eat healthy is pick a sushi restaurant, a Japanese restaurant, or a steakhouse. You can usually really easily get clean food there. You can get sashimi, you can order salmon with no teriyaki sauce. Um, at steakhouses, just a piece of meat, um, but I would say probably portion control there. 
Um, but really, most restaurants that you go to, if you order correctly, you can eat clean. So even if you go to a place like Yard House where you get like a salmon with a pasta and all these crazy sauces, just ask them. They have all the ingredients. Just ask them, hey, can I get a piece of grilled salmon? Don't put anything on it. Just grill it. Don't put any extra salt or sauce. And can you steam some veggies for me? They might look at you like you have three heads, but they'll do it. So where there's a will, there's a way. You can definitely order out, hang out with friends, and be clean. Also, if you are on a diet, on a meal plan, whatever your goal is, and you are trying to eat healthy, um, and you're out with friends, I get this a lot sometimes. Sometimes people give you a hard time for ordering healthy. Don't feel bad about ordering healthy. If you wanna order healthy, go for it. On the flip side, if you wanna indulge, you're also allowed to do that too. Everyone's got different goals. Don't let people like food shame you or do any of that thing, whether they're food shaming you for being healthy or food shaming you. I don't think people food shame you for being, for getting something delicious. But honestly, you know your goals. You know what you're trying to do. So do, do you. And don't mind what anyone else says. So I just finished interviewing someone for the front desk position and it's now five o'clock. I can't believe it's five already. And I gotta eat again. So we're gonna go back here into the fridge. Mmm. I'm gonna go with some salmon. Uh, no. I'm gonna go with some of this guy. Get some carbs in. Tori, don't mind. He doesn't. He doesn't care. This is for me. So that meal that I'm heating up in the microwave right now is from Tori's mom actually who's been doing meal prep for the gym, R&D Meals. Her meals are super clean and super healthy. We get a few from her each week because we're so busy and running around that I haven't really had a ton of time to meal prep, um, but they're yummy. This is about six ounces of shrimp, about a cup of rice and some spinach. You gotta get your greens in like Popeye. So this will probably be about 50 grams of carbs for the day so far. I missed the bite that I had. So I'm 30 minutes into training, still trying to eat my meal. I'm gonna finish that. Because I procrastinated. I'm way too long. My girls are in between exercises. But actually they're exercising. So I can come in here. Oh. Dana's scared because she's watching what the other girls are doing. We're glue bridging. It's not bad. It's going to be fun. So it's like 8.30. I just finished training. Um, I have to eat something before I go home because I'm here for like another at least 30 minutes. So I'm going to go this quick scoop. This is my second scoop of protein powder today. I like to pretend that it tastes like a milkshake. So I normally don't weigh my food. At this point I can pretty much eyeball it. Um, about the size of your palm of your hand is about how much protein I should be having. But I just weighed my salmon just to kind of show you guys how easy it was. Um, these things, I think I got this on Amazon for like 20 bucks. It's teeny tiny. It's probably like the size of two Apple iPhones. It could totally fit in your purse if you're really that serious and um, want to weigh out all your food. Um, but at this point, I've been doing this long enough that I pretty much um, know the portion size. You wipe that down? This is my last meal. This is the salmon that I just weighed out. This is actually from yesterday from Mizu. It's a little over five ounces of salmon. Um, having the stadier salmon before bed kind of keeps me full through the night. <clears throat> I'm not going to wake up hungry. I'm not going to have anything else with this. I'm actually not that hungry, but I'm just trying to get it all in. Um, so that's it. That's meal number six. I got them all in. It's about 10 30 night, but I'm getting my six meal in. Um, <coughs> still a little sick, but this is what you gotta do as a female to get nice and toned. You gotta make sure you eat all your protein. 
<coughs> and get some sleep so you don't get sick. So not that this is my meal, but this is what Tori came home and ate. She murdered that thing. <laughs> Thank you.